All right, 276. Now that you have seen either um, using a file that's already been included as part of a replit or you have seen or and or you have seen um, the act of actually using data to write to a file that we would create um, with C++. Now what we want to do is help you out with the homework part, which is bring a file into Replit so that you can use it. Now, there are two ways to do this. There is the um, drag and drop method, and there is the not drag and drop method. So here is the not drag and drop method. If you look in the upper left hand corner of your, you know, the, the, the three panes, the the most functional three panes of Replit. You may have four with like the the file choices on the left, um, but here with our three panes, left, center, and right. If you look in the uh, the upmost portion of this, you'll see we have the little page plus right here. We can create a file. If I don't do anything with it, and if I don't name it, so I can just say names again, and I can either um, choose a text, a CPP, or a Nix. We're going to do text. Um, so here you can see that it's created for me an empty file, um, and it's trying to use the generative code to keep going. So we can do that to add a file. Again, it is just plus here for new file, uh, and you can create a new file in that way as soon as you name it. The other way we can do this is if you locate a file that you have someplace on your computer. So for example, if you have already downloaded the, I believe that there are three files um, that you have to go and download for the, the, you know, the 5B component for the end of chapter challenge exercises. Um, if you've already downloaded those, great. Uh, if you haven't already downloaded those, go do that before you start your new um, projects here in Replit. Then all you need to do is locate them in your downloads folder, um, which you cannot see here because OBS has control of everything. Uh, then all you have to do is locate the file, click and drag it over here into the left-hand pane in Replit, and I'm not sure that you can see the file here, but I can see it on mine. And when I let go, you'll see we do have the update here, testfile.txt. So this, oh, you can see the extra junk I have in here from when it started off as an RTF file. Um, so this, let's go ahead and clean that up, is the, the two ways I suggest you can get files into Replit. Number one, uh, you can create a new file simply by clicking the File Plus icon over here in the left-hand pane at the top towards Files, or you can drag and drop them in as you would do with the three um, solution files that we already have linked in Eagle along with the Chapter 5 Files assignment submission stuff. So getting files into Replit, pretty simple CIS 276.